Hi everyone, I'm very excited to introduce you to our guest today, uh, Nana, aka Darkman. He's going to uh, sing tomorrow in Cluj. Uh, hi, how are you? Just watch, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to Romania and Cluj. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you, how um, have you ever been before to Romania? Yes, I've been quite a few times to Romania. Honestly, I don't remember when the first time I came to Romania. It must have been 2006 or seven, maybe. It's been a minute. Yeah, and how have things changed since then? Things changed in Romania or things changed in my life? Well, both of them, but I was curious what you thought when you arrived here, like yesterday. <laughs> yesterday or the first time? <laughs> the first time and then yesterday. Okay, so <laughs> the first time was um, interesting because it was the first time and I had an, uh, an appointment with the guys from K1. I don't know if you know them. Maybe it's, it's a different generation, but the elders, elder ones might know them. K1, a legendary Romanian band. That's what I know about them. And we were supposed to go to the studio. So I came to the airport in uh, Bucharest, and nobody was there. <laughs> they forgot to pick me up, or they were late. So I was about to fly back, and then they came, and then uh, I stayed. So this was my first time in Romania. We had a great time, by the way. I don't remember what they told me, what the story was, why they were late, two hours. But um, uh, it was it was very interesting, and uh, since then till now, a um, few years have passed, and I've had wonderful time coming to Romania. I've been enjoying uh, the festivals here, especially we love retro. We've been doing this since ten years, or they have been doing it since ten years, and I was there on the first one, and I'm back again on the tenth one. So a lot has happened in the meanwhile. And I love your country, mm -hmm. beautiful country. And uh, how how do you feel like uh, personally coming again to this uh, event? It's something special because, um, as I said, uh, we I was there on the first one, and uh, all these years I worked very close with Inyanku, Noemi, and the whole We Love Retro team. Not only that I come to perform and be on stage myself, but I also provide them every now and then with a few artists. So it's very nice to be always in touch with them behind the scenes and working together. And they are very professional, as you guys know, and I'm very excited to burn down Cluj tomorrow at the festival. Uh, what are you expecting from the people that will come to the concert? Well, it's going to be... Um, and a special event, like always, it's going to be uh, intense. As I said, I'm very excited. I brought with me not only my new album, Aliyah, which I released at the beginning of April, but I also have a new single coming out tomorrow on Friday, June 7th. So this is actually uh, a 10th, 10th anniversary for We Love Retro, and it's my premiere tomorrow. Um, for my new single, Oh Lord, and I'm excited. So the Romanian fans are the first ones who are going to listen to the single. The whole internet is going crazy. Everybody's excited, but the Romanians will be the first to hear it. Damn, I'm sure it will be crazy in a good way. <laughs> and um, also I wanted to ask you, um, how uh, do you think, like, is this new song uh, in your old style or have you developed your music uh, recently in another ways or do yeah. you think people love like retro style and why is that? Yeah, it's a good question because when you look back to my first releases in 96, 97, I have developed my music in the meanwhile. Um, the album I recorded, especially during the pandemic, when everything was closed down, we couldn't leave the house. And um, I produced, I produced uh, an EP, and also my last album has more, has more turned into rap, R&B, Afro, Afro beat. And, um, and a lot of people were happy about it, but especially the day one fans used to complain. They used to write in the internet, 
comments about yeah we want we want the old stuff we want the old style so um for, of course i as an artist i want to i want to develop myself and i did and i will always keep on developing myself but i also want to make the fans happy so my my latest current singer oh lord is if you if you compare to what i did back then this is the closest it can it gets it's very very typical non alike from the 90s but it's different and it's fresh mm -hmm. you find out Thank when you, you hear it so um the for the future i've decided to always come out with two albums one album will be dark men where i develop myself mm -hmm. and the other albums will be nana where the people know what they can expect mm -hmm. yeah but i have to keep on developing myself because i don't want to life is life is um a process of learning right there's a Jewish saying, if you, don't, if you stop learning, then you must be dead. So i always looking forward to learn new things in life and, of course, also learning in music. And what helps you in this process of uh, learning new music? Excuse me? Uh, what, what helps you during the creative ah. process? Well, um, the creative process is something which is which is special, it's, very, it's magical, you know, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't press a button, <coughs> sorry, you can't press a button and be creative just like that. It, it comes and it goes. The inspiration comes from life. Inspiration comes from things which I see, I read, I hear, I, hear, I listen to people around me, situations, experiences, lessons, um, so what really helps me in my, in my creative process is having the chance to be nearly alone or alone and to focus on what I'm, what I, what I want to say and how I deliver it. I have to be by myself. Okay. So loneliness helps me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Being isolated. Mm -hmm. Lock myself in the room and then do my magic. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that's it. Uh, I say that a lot of artists are more like that when they are creating. They kind of filter things through themselves. And also, it's really interesting that a lot of your songs are very emotional and they connect it to the public. Uh, like, that's what, I don't know. Uh, that's what made you very recognizable. Like your songs, they just, uh, uh, I don't know how to say they just- You said it, uh, they're emotional, right? Yeah, the emotion. Yes, yeah. but emotion is exactly that what, um, what you can also say touches people's heart, you know? You can only touch people's heart with your, with your art. It doesn't matter if it's a painting or if it's, um, if it's music, dancing, performance, whatever it is, when when people can relate to it and they they feel a special vibe, this, when they can they get that vibe, then you touch their heart. So it's always the emotion emotionality is always that what which carries is the is the conveyor to the people. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think uh, that uh, retro uh, style? is uh, like popular again or what do you think about the trend of like trends coming back again you know i i started off as a dj a very long time ago and i i understand the dynamics of the music industry and um i've seen a lot of trends and i see, see i've seen them come in and i've seen them go the reality is a trend or, or something, a, 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 um, a movement, right? Doesn't matter if it's if it's retro, if it's dance, if it's techno, hip hop, whatever. A movement then becomes a trend when it peaks. Then everybody has the the movement becomes has attention from from nearly like like nearly everybody, and then it's a trend. And when it's consumed. On a, sp on a specific time frame, 
and everybody gets enough because the radio is played 10 times a day, the TV played 20 times a day. It's just talk of the town. Then the trend, at least from the perception, it vanishes. But the reality is movements never vanish. They're always there. Retro never left. You can call it retro now. You can call it 90s then. Now it's retro. But it never left. It's just back into the trends, back into the into the into the mass, so to say. But it's still there because if you look at yourself, the music you listen to in your youth, that's what influences you most. Most, and you don't. When you listen to the music, you have a specific association with that music. It gives you yeah. gives you specific emotions, and. We are all only once. We are you're only once young. Your, your youth is only a thing which happens between, I don't know, 15 and 25, for example, right? Mm -hmm. And that music which inspires you, or that that music you listened to back then, which gave you a lot of emotions, good or bad ones, it doesn't matter. It always remains for the rest of your life. So that music is always something special to you, the music you listen to during your youth, and. It's that, that experience you have, those, the, the, that emotions you have, that's, that's a deeper than a trend, you know? Mm. Yeah, so it's, it always, it's always there. It never left. It was always there. And uh, do you think that maybe music uh, companies should produce more of that type of music that was, I don't know, that still has a following? Yeah, it's another smart question. Um, you know, yes, they should. And if they need help, Tell them to call me. If any radio station or any, not radio station, if any music industry person is listening to this in Romania, and you, of course I have an idea for this, because it's very simple. The, uh, the, the music industry, they are, they are entertainment and artist driven, but they are also a serious business, it's an industry, right? So they, they, they make money with music. The people, they are creative, but they are more, more business driven. Yeah. yeah, the music industry. What they need is somebody to spot the talent who was who was creative. But anything else is simple, strictly business, making money, right? So they they are only mostly interested in investing their money on a product, which is music, CD, album, whatever, some artist, which gives them the less risk. Or the the less risk to make to make money to lose money, less risk to lose to lose money. So that's the reason why music, from the perception, comes and goes. But there's a huge market. Come to the festival tomorrow. It's the tenth year, right? We love festival. We love retro, and the whole world listens to retro music. It's a huge market, but they they're not willing to risk too much money. In that in that field, but again, I know how. How? They have to. This this is something which I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you here live live and internet. If they call me, not a document official, you can get in touch. And if someone really gets in touch and we have we have we have a plan to execute it, you know how. And I'll come back with them here to your studio, and we're going to open a label and then make this happen. We'll That's see. <laughs> Amazing. Um, also, uh, you have a new song that drops tomorrow, and yes, you have this intention to work and uh, to release uh, new tracks. And I uh, wanted to know uh, what are your plans for the future. Well, so <coughs> sorry, excuse me. My plans are for the future. Future in first place, they will always be making music. You know, although my trend so to say is not was was not there the last years in the possession of the people i always kept on producing music and i always kept on releasing music why because it's my passion it's my my i happen to make money with it live from it but it's my passion so i will always produce keep producing and releasing music and um my future plans apart from music have been uh thinking about this quite a long time, about a restaurant. During the pandemic, um, we were locked down in Germany for eight months, 
couldn't travel, I guess, like everywhere. I don't know how, how long you guys were here in lockdown, but we had eight months nonstop. Um, we were locked up in the house. And my my hobby is to cook. So I cooked every day. And I have I have invented some some products, a burger and some 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 beef sticks and some African fusion. So I'm I'm planning to to um, open a few a few restaurants um, in future. So that's that's my plan. That's amazing. Yes. And good luck with it. And I hope you get that su as successful as your music career. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and uh, our last question: What advice you have for uh, anyone who is like at the start of their career? in music or in anything else? Yeah. I think the best advice is um, don't listen to the naysayers. Lis listen to your heart and just keep moving because nobody believes in what, in what you are doing than yourself. You are the, you are the best um, marketer, marketing specialist for what you are doing, looking for. So um, be disciplined uh, and, you know, take it serious and just go, go all in. It's, it's, there's no plan B. It's only plan A. And if you stick to it and you're serious enough, you will meet the right people and eventually make it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And um, thank you for being here. I'm reminding fans that uh, want to go uh, to see you tomorrow to buy a ticket for uh, the Wheel of Retro concert at uh, BT Arena. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I'm sure, Sorry. It, I'm sure it will be fire there. And I'm encouraging anyone, everyone to go and enjoy. And I hope you'll enjoy uh, singing too. <laughs> and uh, we are expecting you to come again to Cluj. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me and looking forward to see all of you at the Wheel of Retro Festival tomorrow in Cluj. And for those who have no tickets till now, hurry up. Yes. It's going to be on fire, I promise you. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching and I'll see you online.